Morning everybody, welcome back to another episode of Garage 99. In today's video, we have a 2013 Audi A7 in all black, just the way I like it. So this is a pretty sweet car. This is the 7 Series Audi. It has a three liter turbo or supercharged engine. I, I believe it's one or the other. Ooh, the screen pops out, everything, okay. Huge shout out to Monte County Auto Sales up here in New Baltimore. They're located at I-94 in New Haven Road. Uh, this car is available and for sale. If you guys want it, go ahead and check out the link in the description below. All right, let's get to it. So far off the bat, this thing is super, super roomy and luxurious. I love everything about the way this car looks on the road. It's got incredible road presence. This vehicle is pretty expensive. Uh, brand new the base models I believe go for like 60 to 70 grand and then you can get the S7 which is like 30 grand more than that and then the RS7 is like about 140 to 160 thousand so this is a pretty nice car that they basically just built on top of to make it just basically faster if you wanted it because this is already super luxurious very comfortable great daily driver gets you to where you need to go and just like most Audi and German quality in general, this is a very, very well-built engineered vehicle. You know, very little corners cut when it comes to the design and technology. Uh, especially in 2013, this vehicle looks newer than mine, which is a couple years newer. And it actually, I mean, there's just so many nice features in it. We are hitting a little bit of traffic up here, no big deal. We'll just talk more about the car. So you got this beautiful steering wheel, all leather wrap. Lots of the items in here. Actually, I was expecting it to be a tiny bit more leather. There's a lot of hard plastics um, everywhere you look. But then again, this car is actually seven years old. So it's really nice. When I started the car up, the radio actually came out of the dashboard. And when it pops up completely, it has this little silver trim piece at the bottom that follows through with the piece that popped up to make it look like it's supposed to be there. It's really nice, and I'm sure on the back of it, it has a nice little backing piece that makes it look like it's part of the vehicle as well. So there is actually a sport mode, and there is paddles mounted to the back of the steering wheel. Uh, so let's see if I put it into sport mode. It says M3. Does that mean I'm in manual only? It probably does. We're going to put it back in drive. We'll put it in sport mode when we come back. We'll see how she drives performance-wise, but... This is a Quattro, so it is all-wheel drive or four-wheel drive, however they advertise it as. So this is a pretty decent vehicle to use year-round. Uh, I do like, on the steering wheel, there are scroll buttons. This is very German-like. There's scroll buttons for your volume, and there are scroll buttons for your in info in between your gauges. So it scrolls through your miles per hour. Your average miles per hour, your miles per gallon, how long the vehicle's been on since it was last, the miles to E, the date, and then you can scroll through other options like your phone and everything. Uh, there is navigation, but this one's not optioned out with that. I'm sure like most vehicles, you can plug in a navigation update if you would like. There's a button on the dashboard to put the radio away if you just want to kind of enjoy your drive and not have to worry about the radio. Oh, and that's a mileage reset that I just pressed. It doesn't really give you much of a warning, which kind of doesn't. At the bottom here, you do have a little cubby hole you can throw your phone into. And it does have a storage compartment that you can close and conceal things away, like if you want to hide anything valuable or anything while you're not in your vehicle. You know, from the outside, this vehicle looks like a very, very large vehicle. Like, it is one of the bigger sedans. Audi makes um, outside of I believe the 8 series so I'm actually pretty impressed it it makes you feel like you're in a small vehicle like it's not that hard to command or drive or control on the road you think it's wider than it is when you look in the mirrors and it's like oh I'm only taking up that much space that's interesting this is a very tight very well put together vehicle you can just tell it's that German engineering because you got out the freeway and it was just the car just glued to the road and very small driving inputs to have to maneuver it around. 
Okay, so while it's in drive, instead of going to the right where you can manually change the gears, if you just flick it down, it'll change into sport mode. So, now we're currently in sport mode. That was simple enough. Like I was saying, very comfortable car. There is a ton of back seat space. You definitely don't have to worry about that. When we get stopped, I'll actually show you how much room there is behind me as a six foot two giant. It's not that big actually. This is the portion where I'd normally say, let's take a listen to the car, but I don't expect to hear much. Maybe once we get out of the freeway, we'll hear it, but. Wow, it's actually, a, wow. Shifts very quickly. No, expect nothing less out of the Germans. One thing they have down very well is their transmissions that shift rapidly fast. Just no hesitation in between gears. Taking the on-ramp a little quick. Just trying to see how well she handles. Per usual is very well. And once we get on over here, let's uh let's go ahead and send it. It gives you a speed warning. Twenty-five foot-pounds of torque. That makes more sense because I felt it. It was pretty, pretty incredible. It does have a dual-clutch transmission. Like I said, expect nothing less. That's pretty incredible. And yeah, it's just a good. It's a good normal vehicle. That makes you kind of look like a baller because I think the body lines on this car are beautiful. It's just one big slope. It's probably inappropriate for me to compare it to this vehicle, but I think it has the same large slope over the front all the way to the back as like a Lamborghini Huracan. All right, so we're gonna pull into the park over here. I'll show you a little bit of the outside, a little bit of the inside. I'll get an exhaust clip. I don't expect much of the exhaust clip because it's probably meant to be more of a quiet car, but we're gonna do it anyways. <laughs> Like typical, it only allows you to rev to 4,000, but that's, I expect nothing less. So before we go into the car, let's go ahead and take a look at the outside. So this is that slope I was talking about. It basically has one continuous slope. It goes all the way back to the rear lid here. And this is actually a spoiler that will pop up at speed. I don't believe you can operate it manually. It's got those beautiful taillights that almost kind of look like a Maserati. I like that. Pretty decent sized wheels and brakes along with it. There's your supercharged badge. You've got these awesome phasing uh, turn signal side mirrors. If you're a typical Audi fashion, you have your LED running lights, the big, large four ring grill. And yeah, it's just a sleek business vehicle. You know, this thing is meant for the everyday business guy who wants to go to and from work and luxury and classiness and style and have a little bit of power behind it, but you know, not enough power where he can get where he needs to go in a hurry but not to be bothered by it because it's loud. So here's your dashboard. You've got your wonderful steering wheel. Very simple, but it's very well done, I think. I really like it. Everything in here is pretty simple, but luxurious. So here's your sunroof. Okay, that's cool. So that's how you open that. Oh, that's interesting. Okay, so you have to push this, you push that button back. So you literally have to follow the motion of what you want it to do in order for it to do it. That's very cool. Then you got your home link built in up here. Here's your radio that will 
close if you don't want to look at it. I'm sure it still plays. You just don't have to stare at that if it's obstructing your view. It does come with a CD player. It has your auto climate controls. These look like they might be all of your seat settings. Oh, those are your radio presets. You got your navigation, your telephone, your radio, your media. It's probably how you change all the different things. This is how you can scroll around in the navigation because a lot of German cars, they have a bunch of things right here where you can control all of your radio functions and whatnot without having to take your eyes off the vehicle. If you hit the car button though, dynamic Audi drive select, okay. Well, apparently you can change the way this thing rides too. So I just put it in dynamic even though the review is done now. And you have your electronic parking brake. If you bring it down into drive, you flick it down one more time and it will switch in between S and D as you can see. You put it over for manual. You also have the paddles back here. And they kept the cruise control off of the steering wheel. They kept it behind the steering column to kind of clean up the wheel a little bit. And then here's your back seat. I'm gonna go ahead and sit back there for you guys. So I took my hat off so you guys can get a pretty good idea, but this is me, 6'2", sitting behind me, who is 6'2". I barely have enough room in this vehicle, but you do actually get a lot of room. Uh, it's pretty comfortable back here. You do have a little cubby hole. You have, a, looks like a couple different features, like uh, your vent speed and your temperature. So you can control all that back here. And there is a, only an unlock button, but there is a lock button. That's interesting. I've never seen that in the backseat of a vehicle before. But yeah, it's nothing crazy. Nothing super high tech, just luxurious enough to get you by. I'd like to say a huge shout out to Monacati Auto Sales for lending us this vehicle to review for you guys today. This vehicle is for sale. I'll check out the links in the description below. Uh, Monacati Auto Sales is in New Baltimore, located off 94 and New Haven Road. Check out the vehicle, check out other vehicles. We've got plenty of cool stuff over there for you. But guys, I think that's going to do it for today. I'd like to thank you all so much for watching. Hit the subscribe button if you can. We are trying to get that beautiful 1000 mark. Uh, it's a slow climb, but it's steady. We can get more cool stuff for you guys if you show more support. Uh, it allows for us to get more bigger and better things. Hit the notification bell. Drop a like on this video if you can. Peace out. Keep turning those gears.